Hi guys, I wanted to talk about burnout today and, and how to best avoid it, in my experience anyway. Because uh, this is what happens. Burnout, there's really no such thing as burnout. Like you've worked too hard and you're burning out. Um, what happens is you lose your purpose. Okay, you lose your purpose and you lose your way and you lose your why. And you don't know why you're doing it and so you start focusing on all the things that aren't working or maybe results aren't coming fast enough. I mean, I'd experienced this and I, my burnouts look like massive, serious, suicidal depression. That's my burnout. And I understand exactly where it's coming from because my last burnout was because things weren't working as fast as I wanted to because I'm impatient. And so I started focusing on what I didn't have rather than what I did have. And it triggered chemicals in my brain to, to create that depression, which of course fed into my thoughts of thinking more bad thoughts. It's, it's, it's an oscillating pattern and it's a downward spiral, okay? And so I got depressed for like two months until I eventually climbed out of it, but that halted my progress. And so I wanna help you guys understand that burnout is, is, is really doesn't exist aside from going down that downward spiral. Now to avoid burnout, what, I, what I've noticed is that, uh, let's say you have your business here. And now if you're building a business, especially if you have a startup, you have to spend the majority of your time and thoughts on that. So even if you have a family, you have to. And that's the only way it's ever going to get built, right? Um, but instead of saying, I'm going to spend all my time in my business, I'm going to ignore my family, I'm going to ignore my kids, I'm not going to play with my little boy. Instead of doing all that, <laughs> that's going to burn you out. That's going to get a divorce <laughs> okay, and that's going to estrange you from your kids. So instead of focusing everything on the business, understand your life as a whole, okay? Now, we, we heard that, we always hear that, oh, you got to have a balance. You, you can't have a balance. You can't spend six hours with your family, six hours in your business, six hours sleeping, six hours at the gym. It doesn't make sense. Now, that's equal balance. That doesn't make sense. You can't. The only time you're, you're balanced is when you're six feet in the ground, Okay. So I heard something once, which was very profound. I want to share it with you. You know, stand on one foot, okay? Now, are you balanced or are you balancing? Balanced versus balancing. You will never be balanced in life. I'm going to tell you right now. It's a myth. It's destructive. And it's going to destroy your entire life if you try to stay balanced. You'll never achieve anything. But there is a such thing as balancing. Balancing is what we do all the time. Okay, now balancing is what you want to do when you're building your business. Balancing. You, you're not going to be balanced, but you can balance. <laughs> okay? You have two things. You're always going to be balancing. Okay? Now, this is what we want to take balancing it's think of it this way instead of <clears throat> let's say okay now for you musicians out there this music this thing isn't going to make any sense to you so let's say you have you know music okay all right now when you have a, an orchestra you have violins going at a certain time you have um the trumpets or I don't know, saxophones or, or cello, uh, the, the flute, whatever instrument is in there going at different times, right? And so the melody is sometimes you have the violins going off the charts and just blowing you out of the water. And then maybe the, the flute comes in and plays a piece. Maybe the piano comes in here and does something. And then uh, maybe you have some drums even that come in, right? And then maybe you have some... Uh, some some bass like boo, 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 whatever but this is harmony right put that all together and it's harmony now if it was balanced you would have the violins the drums the trumpets the saxophones the cellos the flutes every instrument in that in that orchestra playing at the same time okay that wouldn't sound very good or they would be playing and you would go Five minutes for the violins, five minutes for the drums, five minutes. That, that wouldn't make any sense either. It, it's, it's an ebb and flow. It's an ebb and flow of harmony. This is how what life looks like when you're doing it right. It's harmony. You spend 80% of your thoughts and efforts on the business, <clears throat> move over, 
And then spend your time with your family. When you're with your family, spend time with your family. Okay? And then you're over here spending it with your friends. It's, it's an ebb and flow. It's, it's a harmony. Okay? It's a harmony to create the symphony of your life. Now, I know that's kind of cheesy. I just thought of that. That's kind of cool. But um, it's a symphony of your life. And so it's always going to be out of balance, but it, you're balancing the things in your life in order to create this harmony. So I, I just want to kind of point this out because I hate when I say, I got to get balanced. I got to get balanced. That's such a myth and it's destructive. You'll never be balanced, but you can balance by having the harmony with the ebb and flow of the life and understanding this concept and being okay that you're out of balance. So I want to share that with you guys. I hope that added some value to you. Have an awesome and productive week and make it a great day. Thank you.